Hello. It's nice to see you again. For today's lesson, we will learn about the different propaganda devices. Let's go. Every day, we are exposed to propaganda. The commercial we see in television uses a certain propaganda technique to persuade us to buy the product. What is propaganda? It is a communication that is used primarily to influence an audience. Its purpose is to persuade people's opinions, emotions, and attitudes. For an example, you plan to buy only what you need in the supermarket. Suddenly, a sales lady approached you and told you that their big sale promo was about to end that day. So, you ended up buying more than you needed. Oh no! Further, propaganda seeks to guide choices and behavior by exaggerating the truth and using hidden messages. So we should always think wisely in order for us to pick the right choice. Now, let's talk about the different propaganda devices. First is card stacking. Here, the true facts are twisted and colored by the propagandist to suit his interest and impress his listeners. Here's an example. The advertiser omits any information that may affect their image negatively, and they make the product appear a lot more attractive than it actually is. Second is name calling. This technique consists in giving a bad name to a product, person, a group, an idea, or an event. Look at the example. They portray their rival brand negatively to make theirs appear to be the better choice. Third is glittering generalities. It makes use of fancy words that elicit a positive response or feeling from you. Take a look at this advertisement right here. It is not mentioned in this ad of how this product is better than the others. All you're told is that it has a champion formula and that it has a champion energy nutrients. It goes on to say that drinking this makes you a champion. And who doesn't want to be a champion? Fourth is plain folks. This idea, product, or person is associated with normal, everyday people and activities. This device is used extensively by politicians. The politician professes that he is just like others. Take a look at this advertisement. This is the perfect example of showing regular folks or ordinary people. It shows that the mother's love is unconditional and is searching for ways to protect her child. And it shows that this product is her best choice. Fifth is bandwagon. It aims at persuading people to do a certain thing because many other people are doing it. For an example, this product statement says that Everyone already has Nike shoes, so, if you don't want to be left out, go to their store and buy one for you. Sixth is Testimonial. Advertisers use the testimonials of influencers, authority figures, or experts in the field to convince you that their product is worth your money. In this example, you could see that a famous celebrity is endorsing the product. Seventh is transfer. It tries to transfer the good or bad feelings you have associated with something to their brand, product or service. Symbols are used in this kind of propaganda. Look at this commercial. By using the positive symbol of Santa Claus, Coca-Cola tries to associate its positivity to their product, so they could transfer a good feeling to you. Let's remember. There are seven propaganda devices. These are Card stacking Name calling Glittering generalities Plain folks 
bandwagon testimonial and transfer now let's have a short quiz identify the propaganda devices used in the following number one Number 2 Number 3 Number 4 Number 5 Here are the answers. Number 1 is bandwagon. Number 2 is glittering generalities. Number 3 is testimonial. Number 4 is card stacking. Number 5 is plain folks. Congratulations! You can now identify the different propaganda devices. See you in our next lesson. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to click the like button. Share this video to your friends. And subscribe to my channel.